Ferox, what the hell are you wearing? Oh, hey, Recall. These are my, uh, pajamas. I like them. Right? Anyway, what's all this about new LMS requirements? Oh, yeah. No, I just added them this morning. All right, so you got two options now if you want to play Last Man Standing. You can either get 1,500 total, or you can get 750 total with 30 quest points. Choice is yours. So I'm just suddenly no longer allowed to play it? Yep. Sorry about that. Does this have anything to do with that no death piling restriction you gave me? Nope. I mean, that's a special rule just for you because you decided to take a bunch of exceptions. Speaking of which, I seem to remember you owing me five million gold. Yep. Still working on that. So, what's the reason for the LMS change? What has come from the top? Plus, there were a lot of bots. Wasn't that the... What? No, it's, it's, it's nothing. So, you're, uh, you're confident then this will, uh... Take care of all those pesky LMS bots. Yep. She'll get this place all straightened out. Right. Because, uh, as we both know, 750 total and 30 quest points will surely deter botting. Well, I wanted to make sure the restrictions wouldn't affect the normal accounts too much. They do seem a bit arbitrary, don't you think? Well, I didn't realize that you had a problem with arbitrary restrictions, Mr. 11 degrees 16 minutes north. Yeah, I walked into that one. This is the real moment of truth here. How many LMS points do we have to work with? 60. That's a lot more than I thought I had. We'll try to make them last, I guess. Welcome back. In the last video, we got level 89 Hunter for Lucky Implings, as well as 80 Agility, unlocking the Relica Rooftop Course. This episode, I'd like to spend some time looking at the three goals I have before the end of Season 2. So, in no particular order, goal number one is re-unlocking LMS. This one's straightforward. LMS holds very useful supplies for pretty much every piece of wilderness content I do, and I need 1500 total if I want to gain any more points. Currently, my total level stands at 1339, so let's park ourselves at the fly fishing spot while we go through the rest of the plan. Goal number two is setting my respawn point to the Ferox Enclave. This will allow me to death pile while staying within the north, so I can start building up my items and gear without locking myself out of the wilderness. Changing my respawn point will cost me 5 million gold, and currently I'm at around 1.3 mil. Last but not least, goal number 3 is obtaining the stats and equipment required to efficiently kill Karasks. Karasks are amazing. They're a phenomenal moneymaker, both in Alks and Raw GP. They're a great source of herbs and seeds for herblore training. They drop a ton of nature runes, which I plan on using by casting Plank Make to train construction. And finally, they drop one of the best melee weapons for this account, the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. I plan on killing 12,000 of them. So what do we need to get there? For starters, level 70 Slayer. That one's obvious. I would like to be able to attack them. On the road to level 70, I should reach 100 Wildy Slayer tasks for a nice boost in points. And then after that, we can figure out if it's viable to do non-Wilderness Slayer. I'm going to be using a couple different setups to kill Karasks, but I'm going to start by ranging them. Because we trained Hunter last episode, we can now catch Implings for Red Spiky Vambraces, Snakeskin Boots, and the Amulet of Glory. The Ranger Hat and Pennant Skirt from Barbarian Assault both provide a solid range bonus and can be stored in the POH for added convenience. Finally, I will be killing the Crazy Archaeologist for the last two items, the Red Dehyde Body and the Legendary Rune Crossbow. So that's the plan. The nice part is that by training Slayer, I'm also working towards goals 1 and 2. But I don't know if 60 LMS points will be enough now. That's the big question. I do kind of burn through Adam and Arrows. We'll have to make do. And maybe get a little creative. And as much as I am annoyed about having to re-unlock this minigame, at the end of the day, it's just one more piece of content on this account that was ruined by bots.
Also, apparently this fishing spot is a rare impling spawn location. That's kind of convenient, but I need a net to catch that one. It only took me five minutes. And the impling has been awfully cooperative too. You know, that was surprisingly painless. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, if there's a time to get dragon bones, it's definitely now when I'm not risking anything. 10,000 feathers later, we ended up going from level 61 to 71 fishing, and I trained a little cooking too, from level 49 to 55. So a nice boost in total. I'm sure we'll come back here again. And I gotta figure out what I'm doing with these bones. I want to get as many bones to the Chaos Altar as possible, so I'm going upstairs in the Ferox Enclave and I'm placing the noted bones on a table. These will stay here for 10 minutes, which is more than enough time for me to- Hey! Oh, what? Are you death piling up here? No, 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 this is- this isn't death piling, this is just... Piling. Fine. But I'm watching you. There's the first inventory of bones. And this will be much faster with the burning amulet, so let's grab the cosmic rune spawn up here and finish this off. 55. See ya. 56. That was the only PKer I've seen while doing this, and we don't have that many left anyway, so I'm just gonna take the rest. 57 prayer. And we lived. Nice. Caught some implings and got a few items that should help kickstart the Slayer grind, as well as that lucky impling I managed to cram into last episode. Hopefully nobody noticed I mysteriously gained three prayer levels. Oh good, nobody did. That's 42 Herblore, turning the Terramin from the nature implings into tar. And there's the final item I was looking for, the blue dehyde chaps. The era of yak is over. I am now blue. I could go for the red spiky van braces as well here, but I think I'm going to go back to using expeditious bracelets for Slayer, just for while I'm going for the 100 Wooly Task milestone. Shortening the amount of time I spend in the wilderness seems best for my account's survival, as well as my blood pressure. Speaking of Slayer, we currently don't have a task. Ice Warriors, okay. Also, I have a bunch of Horrorlander seeds. I'm gonna start stacking these since I'm only one level away from turning them into tar. There's also still the possibility of brewing them into Greenman's Ale if I get more barley. Bought back my Maple Shortbow. Gonna spend two LMS points on arrows here, which if I have to spend two points a task, we're gonna run out pretty quickly. I guess we'll see how fast I burn through them. Ice Warriors is kind of an interesting task because it's in part of the wilderness that's traveled a bunch, but not so much by PKers. So you just kind of see some weird stuff. That's task completed. Didn't get too much, a few herbs and seeds. Next up, we have Greater Demons. I want to try killing these in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. It's definitely quite a bit riskier, but the demons here have significantly better drops than the ones found elsewhere, and every monster in the cave drops Laren's Keys 15% more often. I was there for like a mi- I killed two of them! Task completed. There were some levels in there too, I guess, I don't know. Okay, I am happy I tried the Wilderness Slayer Cave. It taught me a good lesson. Uh, this ring I have? It is not a one-click teleport. It's like a four-click teleport. With a menu in the middle that's interrupted by combat. <laughs> to its credit, it did work. And it probably saved my life, but... I don't have the confidence I'll be as lucky next time. We did get one Laren's Key from that task for some Dragon Arrow Tips. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of money. One thing I will be doing from now on is avoiding these bats. Man, why are the webs slashed? Made away with about 70k profit. Spider task. Spider task. Skeletons. These smaller assignments are definitely a job for the rune sim, just in the interest of conserving LMS points. And that's the last one. Lesser demons. Hey, these are also found in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing those up here where no one will ever find me. <gasps> Wait, that's the perfect drop. I am now even more blue. Task completed. Let's get out of here. So, there are two items on the equipment list that come from Barbarian Assault. 
and I think it makes sense to start going for them sooner rather than later. Playing BA on this account can be a little awkward because there are a few items that aren't allowed inside. Such items include runes, arrows, and looting bags. This is one of the few uses I have for the study in my house. I can't take runes in, but I can take these enchant sapphire tabs. So we can still make games necklaces and expeditious bracelets if we want to bounce between this and Slayer. The last time we seriously grinded Barbasalt on this account was all the way back in Season 1. We got the raw sharks for the Fremenic Trials, and the oak planks to start construction. We're gonna approach BA a little bit differently this time, as I've learned a strategy that makes the game faster, easier, and in my opinion, more enjoyable. I call it, Don't Play on World 306. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you have this? Let's go for healer, the old classic. Down to heal some people today. Update, it is wave 9. I haven't filled my healing vial once. You guys are on your own. Good luck. One of the benefits of playing BA in a group is that we can perform some advanced techniques, like duping the Omega Egg, which you do by spam clicking shoot as soon as the collector puts it into the cannon. Oh. You do need to preload the cannon with a regular egg first so that you can see the shoot button. This is not gonna work. Yep, that seems about right. I think we're just gonna do this one normally. <laughs> so that's what we call a not a very good queen. And I just want to point out that back when I did World 306, I had times that were double this. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. I'm not there. We made two, right? Okay, that should be it. Why is this flashing? You're literally standing in a safe area. I'll give you one. Can I get back the poisoning? You're making me look bad. Somehow that was a sub 20. I should just fill this up now. It's wave nine. You know he's gonna call medic. I, I swear to God. It's honestly a miracle these times are as good as they are. Y'all BA boosters? It certainly feels like it. I ended up playing quite a few more rounds, including a couple as Defender. Still don't exactly know how to reliably multi-kill the runners, I think my success rate's around 30%, but I ended up getting level 5 in the roll, which doesn't actually do anything. There is a decent amount of Barbasalt in this account's future, so it's definitely not a bad idea to get level 5 in all rolls. We played mostly healer today, and we need points in all rolls to get the outfit pieces, but I really don't mind coming back here. I had fun. I did decide to do one high gamble, just for the content, and uh, yep, that was certainly some content. Let's get ourselves re-geared up for some more Slayer. I never expected the shortcut to be as useful as it is, because I can cast Trollheim Teleport, and then it's just a short run to the western side of the wilderness. That's a very uneventful Anku task completed. Okay, these enchantment tabs are nice, but I feel like I need regular cosmics too, because I made a bunch of burning amulets and I wasn't able to enchant them. We'll just hop a couple worlds here. It's a bot. It's a dying bot. Hmm. Ooh. And we escape from the scene of the crime. And we're headed back to the scene of the crime. You know, one day we'll get a task that gives us some interesting loot. 34 farming. This skill is so incredibly slow, but it's definitely still worth it to train it whenever I can. Oh, that is a very interesting task. How is this going to work? Okay, I have an idea. Bloodvelds only exist in one location in the wilderness, and that's in the Wildy God Wars dungeon. If you've never been in here before, a key difference from regular God Wars dungeon, well, obviously there are no bosses, but there's also not a true Zamorak quadrant, so I will need two different god items to protect me. I swear, I'm not intentionally making my outfit bluer. I have to melee this task because I need to hold the book. 
but it should save me a few Addy arrows, which is kind of nice. So, Bloodvelds and every other monster in this dungeon drop ecumenical keys, which is both a blessing and a curse. It's nice because these keys are a 61k elk, but the downside is there are a lot of bots down here, and they scare the crap out of me every time I see a white dot on my minimap. At the time of editing this video, these keys can no longer be elked. So, uh, add it to the list. Oh yeah, they drop the other kind of keys too. 60 Slayer, that's the level for Aberrant Spectres, which should be a great monster to kill later on for herbs. Ooh, there's one, nice. A second Laren's Key, and task completed. From the box. <laughs> Yo, that's sick! Oh man. I mean, I hate that it's useless, right? It's gonna go on my magic wardrobe and I'm never gonna see it again. But God, is it cool. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna look at it for a couple of minutes. I'm not ready to put this away. There's a dragon impling flying around down here, and I was just wondering if. Ooh. This hat is actually dangerous. I looked at the recording of when I got it. It has been 34 days of just. I have one clip since then, and it was me catching the dragon impling. This is why Lucky Implings are so scary for me. If I get something irreplaceable that's good, I just stop playing the game over going into the wilderness. And there it goes. Unless we get really lucky with the other pieces. But this is probably gone forever. You know, now that I think about it, I don't actually have to get the full set to withdraw this. I could just de-iron. Are we still doing Slayer? It's been like a month. Cash deck looking pretty healthy though, almost halfway to 5 mil and changing our respawn point. So I'm using the Dragon Longsword over the Rune Sim now. I ran the numbers and it does have a marginal DPS increase against Bloodvelds, which is probably the only real task I'm going to be meleeing. But against smaller assignments like Spiders, the slower attack rate is definitely a slight downgrade. We are once again returning to the Ice Warriors. We are once again finished with the Ice Warriors. And that brings us up to 1000 Slayer points. Very cool. Just one key tonight, coal. Perfect, just in time for that iron ore that I died and lost. I guess I'll probably use this now so I don't lose it too. 52 smithing, this is about 9k XP per hour, which is not worth it. We're gonna finish this inventory and then wait for an iron ore drop. Or just die again, we'll see. Black demons, yep, I enjoyed having a thousand points for all of 30 minutes. Hey, the old favorite. What is that? How rare is that? I guess this officially marks the end of my blue phase. God, this helmet is so cool. I mean, it's got the same problem as the Dagon High hat in that it's not useful or anything. I can just buy a better one whenever I want in Relica. But this one's not storable or worth a whole lot, so I don't really feel bad about losing it to whoever kills me next. 77 ranged. Task completed. Next up. We have Lesser Demons. I've actually been waiting for this one to come back around. I have an idea. But first, I'm gonna use all these seeds since last time we got a Mammoth Task, we were murdered. 35 farming. That is one level away from being able to plant these Dwellberry seeds. That's 43 Herblore. We can now boost to use these Harlanders. And we're done. But damn, if that's not some nice XP. 
I will be keeping the stack of Harlander Tar. It's used as the ammo for the Black Salamander, which isn't a half bad weapon. I'm sure I could find a use for it somewhere. And I'm using the last of the Harlander to once again go for Mature Greenman's Ale. Nice. And now we'll start stacking Irrits, which I can use to make super anti-poisons at 47 Herblore, so four more levels for that. Also, I realized I don't need the farming level for Dwellberries. I can get a Garden Pie from Gourmet Implings. Nah, yeah, it's close enough. I just want the dish. And simple as that, we have a Garden Pie for a plus three farming boost. Very easy. Much easier and better than using Cider, which I definitely did not try first. Okay. I just want to make this clear. I definitely did not gather several baskets of apples from the ladies' A, press them with my feet, brew my own cider, build a second kitchen in my house, build a cider barrel in said second kitchen, drink the cider while still inside the POH, race to the farming patch before the plus one boost wore off, realize I should have picked these berries beforehand, go back to my house, drink another glass of cider, and finally plant a dwellberry seed. That didn't happen. Just want to make that clear. Alright, we have a lesser demon task. Last time I tried the Slayer Cave, it didn't go well. But I think I have a plan that will allow me to avoid the vast majority of PKers. I'm going to be killing these on a high-risk world. On high-risk worlds, you are automatically sculled and lose everything on death, and you are also unable to use the Protect Item Prayer. These two features already happen to be built into UIM, so for me, the only thing that changes is I get a fun little skull above my head. For PKers though, these changes are rough. Most players would never train Slayer on these worlds, so there are significantly fewer targets, and the PKers themselves can't bring as much risk since this cave is multi and a clan could pop in at any moment. Those reasons in and of themselves are a decent deterrent, but there's one more, and I think it's relatively unknown. Most PKers search for targets by standing at a location and hopping worlds, and I'm willing to bet quite a few of them use the World Hopper Runelight plugin for this, as you can set a keyboard shortcut to quickly go up and down the world list. By default, the World Hopper plugin skips high-risk worlds, so there's a decent chance PKers, completely unknowingly, hop right over me. And if that's not safe enough, I'm also protecting myself from people running by. This little alcove provides me with enough cover that somebody trying to land a TB would have to run here. And if that's not enough time for me to teleport out, then I deserve to die. There have been a couple wilderness changes in the past few months. For one, every monster in the Wildy Slayer Cave now drops certain items from the LMS store. I'm gonna hang on to these entangle sacks. I think they could be good for a last ditch escape attempt if I do end up getting teleblocked. 61 Slayer, task completed. I saw nobody. Zombies up next. Another change Jagex made to the wilderness is that monsters no longer PJ you if you're attacking another player. I'm gonna kill these zombies on a target world, which doesn't have this change. These worlds are great. They make tasks like this a whole lot safer. And really, I just wanted to thank them. Completed. Up next, this will be task number 50. Er, this is the first time I've gotten Earth Warriors. I completely forgot about these. It's been so long. Uh, if you don't remember, Earth Warriors is the one task I can't do, since there's no way to get into the Edgeville dungeon without going south of the Wilderness Ditch. Black Knights. Is that a, have we gotten that before? North of Venonatus seems a bit questionable. I think we kill these in the lava maze. Yeah, that was a that was a task. They died. It was uneventful. 50 wilderness tasks though. Halfway to our goal and a nice 375 points. Level 36 farming. No longer have to jump through any hoops to plant dwellberries, which is nice. Are we doing this with Earth Warriors now too? Greater Demons. I think I'm ready to kill these in the Slayer Cave. Even the regular drops are noticeably better here. I'm making so much money that this has got to be worth the risk. Hmm, I guess people do sometimes visit these worlds. What if we go up here? 
Yeah, I like this more. This should be out of vision of people hopping down there, and it gives me a little bit of extra cover. 75 hit points. And task completed. A bit unlucky on the Larenskis, but I actually got five rune full helms. That's awesome. My discount master farmer's up next. What? I've been here for half an hour. Who the hell attacked this one? And there's the task. Time to plant these seeds. Jellies. That's another new one. This one was added to the Slayer Cave somewhat recently, I think. 62 Slayer. Wait, wait, is this a rare drop table? Wait, no, these jellies drop from the Karen drop table. Wait, these are better than the Karen drop table. Correct! There's a Laren's key. Haven't seen one of those in a while. And I just realized I don't think I ever unlocked superiors. We should go do that. And also put this money away. We've made so much. This task is amazing. Yeah, we're gonna pass three mil by the end of this. Also, why don't we turn this in while we're at it? Okay, can't all be winners. Yeah, I completely forgot to do this. Bigger and better unlocked. And before you say, I should have done this earlier when I had the Bloodveld task, Bloodvelds in both the regular and Wilderness God Wars dungeons actually can't spawn superiors. I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but ooh, we got a big one. Nice. And superiors always drop Laren's keys. But they use the regular jelly drop table? What? And that's task completed. That was awesome. I enjoyed that a lot. We are officially above 3 million gold. And rubies. Sure. 38 farming. Greater demons once again. Level 78 ranged. Oh, shit. Okay, I know this reaction makes zero sense, but for me to explain it, I first need to explain the super secret barbarian assault completion plan, which involves time travel. This is gonna get more confusing before it gets better. The plan was simple. Train Slayer until I get PK'd, then do barbarian assault for the items I need. Getting PK'd was kind of key here, since it'd give me a clear inventory and also remove spoilers from my account so I could stream BA and play with viewers on Twitch. That's right, I would rather die than do this grind on World 306. But not anymore. The Magic Shortbow imbued is my next range upgrade, and it is massive. And while I could buy another scroll from the LMS store, I'm still rationing points, and that's 1700 adamant arrows I'd be giving up. So, despite getting the scroll early throwing a big wrench in my plan, I will do whatever I need to in order to keep this. I just got a second one. Here's the updated plan. I'm still gonna get rid of most of my stuff so I don't have to play on World 306, but we're not gonna die. Instead, I'm going for the Magic Shorpo ASAP, and then we're gonna hide it using Runelight Plugin Magic. And the bow itself isn't far off at all. Just one Slayer level more, and we can kill Spiritual Rangers. Alright, test com- Holy shit. <laughs> one heart attack, please. Thank you. Listen, I said I wasn't gonna die. <laughs> We're sticking to the new plan, okay? We have Chaos Druids up next. Obviously, I can't kill the ones in Edgeville Dungeon. From what I know about the Elder Chaos Druids, they are in multi, and I feel like I've seen people PK there before. There is a safer way to do this task, which is shooting them from over the lava, but in the interest of saving my already limited supply of arrows, I will be skipping this one. Dark Warriors, easy. And we still have one key from the Greater Demon task for money. I'm so paranoid after that guy almost TB'd me. I'm about to one-tick this teleport. And we're out. Is this a level 124 doing Lunar Diplomacy? Here goes nothing. Wild. Can you knock it off? Spiders. I just 
feel like somebody's watching me. Easy points. Enku. This task should be great in the Slayer Cave. I'm basically protected from line of sight on all sides. One Luronical Key. Task completed. Yeah, I am very happy doing this task here from now on. And... Money. And this should be the last task until 63. Assuming it's not super small. Hill Giants. Uh... This will be close. Huh? What the hell happened here? I feel like I need to report a crime. Wait, how rare is that, Larence Key? Actually took off my Expeditious Bracelet to line this one up. That is level 63 Slayer, the level for Spiritual Rangers, and task completed. Wow, those are worth a ton right now. All right, let's get this bow. Huh? Is it not 60? Oh, okay. I'll wait. Okay, let's do it. Uh. Okay, if that was the bow, that would have been nuts. These things don't really have many drops. Just a load of BS, am I right? <laughs> And 36 KC. I definitely deserve to go dry for that. But, magic shortbow on the account. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh jeez. Magic shortbow on the account. Let's go ahead and break the looting bag and use the imbue scroll, which just makes the bow a little bit better. It also sparkles now. Yeah, that's kind of neat. And I'm gonna get rid of most of my stuff in a second here, but there's actually one item I need to reobtain, and that's my old friend, the Lava Battle Staff. I have gone eight months without this item. That's how long it's been since I died. Also, I will never complain about more herbs, even if they cut my trips short. There it is. I've really missed this item. Only saves me one inventory spot, but it's just nice to have. That's the last thing we need. I'm bidding farewell to the Dragon Longsword, the Dragon Medhelm, and the rest of my equipment. And now, we're going backwards in time. Wait, what? I thought we were 10 episodes behind. How fast are we catching up? Okay, I should have checked this beforehand, but I am morbidly curious if World 306 is as bad as I remember. Let's do one round. It's Jad? I assume you mean it's Chad. We can't use prayers in here. If Jad shows up, we're all dead. Ooh, and the death on wave 10. Classic. I legit got to go. Oh, come on. I was so close. All right, enough practice. Now we play with the... the, the professionals. <laughs> I also really appreciate the emotional support cow in the background. Seems the team has decided I will be playing healer. Uh... Okay, sounds good to me. Stop dying, stop dying. I didn't fill my vial. The cows are multiplying. Collector's such a chill roll. Just standing here and all the runners funnel nicely over to the trap. All the, I, I said all of the runners. Thank you. All right, let's grab the last level up, which means we now have all rolls level five. And how about a gamble for the road? <laughs> hey, there's gamble number 50. That's kind of cool. Okay, but what if we got something that didn't suck? Coal. That is a lot of coal. I gotta figure out a decent way to use this. So we're definitely gonna have more than enough money. I don't mind spending some of this here. Historically, we've bought iron ore on Yadazo and brought it over to the furnace on Nata's Knot, but I'm just gonna superheat it. I think that makes a lot more sense. Level 53 smithing, and we're not quite breaking even, but definitely not a bad method. I don't want to go back to Slayer until I'm completely done with BA. Now seems like a decent time to grab some more total levels. Still going for 1500 for LMS, but the fishing levels are especially nice because they also improve fish I get from Laren's chest. 
Oh, and one more thing I can do right now. I'm gonna quickly, uh, quickly, grab 81 agility, just one level. And that unlocks a shortcut in the Fremenic Slayer Cave that will be very useful when I'm killing Karasks. Also got enough Marks of Grace for two outfit pieces, the gloves and the hood, which unfortunately both get locked in the POH until I'm able to afford the rest. Are you kidding me? I swear, every impling in this spot is an asshole. 75 fishing, and that is also 1400 total. 100 more levels to go. I actually have a friend who needs a torso right now, so we're gonna do a little BA on World 306. World 306, ladies and gentlemen. World 306, ladies and gentlemen. Classic 306. What's that guy's problem? You know, I have actually been having a little bit of fun on World 306. I, as long as you're not like grinding for something, World 306 is kind of fun. In like a, I'm going to the zoo kind of way, you know? Is that horrible? Psst. Wait, I'm not ready. Wait, I'm not ready. Nothing's ready. This is all wrong. How do I fix this? Oh God, there it is. Why is there a black bar at the bottom of my screen? I missed. Okay, we got it. Where are you at? I get to be in a video. Dude, you're the voice of Ferox. Hit us a beat bow. We So I haven't talked about what exact items are good here, so let's just run through the tier list. Starting at S tier, which of course stands for scrolls, give me the scrolls. I need the Piscatoris teleport scrolls. I need them, I need them now. This is the tier where we find the third age bow. Then we move to A tier, which stands for Armadil Waiting Room. This tier contains upgrades to my range setup. I'd probably order them something like this, with relevant god pieces slightly better than their counterparts. Next up, I'm skipping B tier because I can't think of a good word that starts with B. And that takes us to our convenience items. This is just stuff I can store in my POH. The black pickaxe, the trimmed amulet of glory, and the dragon boots ornament kit. Of course, we still don't want to get any of the high ticket items here since we're headed back into the wilderness. So I guess just flip the tier list until I can death pile again. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Garbage. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I will click on the trap with precise timing and the runners will all die. Well, we gave it a good shot. All right, we have a ton of points now. Let's buy the ranger hat, the fighter torso, and the pennant skirt. That's two pieces of equipment off of our list, plus the torso, which will be good for when I use melee again. Sweet, we're all done with BA. Let's do one final gamble, just for fun. Hey, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, one more run. I gotta test out the new equipment, you know? That's a very decent time. And we get a doable elite clue. Back to back? Uh, yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Back three back? Yeah, no, those, those numbers are not higher than 1116. I did really enjoy BA, but it is time to go back to Slayer. Need some cosmic runes, and we have a lovely mammoth task to welcome us back. Change of plans, I've been invited to play Barbarian Assault. He's showing off the toes for free. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Some poor life decisions have led me to this point. As we get ready to head back to Slayer, I think now's a good time to check the progress we've made. Right now we are at 1403 total, 97 levels to go. Just under 3.8 mil, that's definitely the closest of our three goals, should get the rest passively through drops from Slayer. Quick LMS point update, we're down to 40. I think this should last for the remainder of the Slayer grind. Worst case scenario, we switch to broad arrows, which are a little bit weaker, but we can use them now since we have the magic short bow. And finally, we are level 63 Slayer, and with this mammoth task completed, that is 62 out of 100 Wilderness Slayer tasks. All around, very good progress on all three fronts. I'm definitely feeling a lot more comfortable in the wilderness these days. We've got plenty of GP, I'm gonna spend some of it on an archer's helm, cause I don't really mind risking it. 
And I found one more lucky impling for the road. I don't like you looking at me like that. Let's open her up. <gasps> no. No! I mean, it's amazing, right? I, it's my best in slot, like, until an Arma chain skirt. Do I take this into the wilderness? What am I supposed to do?